Your Honor, six months ago, Nicholas Prantura was convicted of income tax evasion. I appeared as prosecutor in the matter. Against my strenuous objections, Prantura was released on bail during the time of his appeal to the Supreme Court. Writ of certiorari was denied, and Prantura was ordered to appear before Your Honor at 10 o'clock this morning for sentencing. Nicholas Prantura has not appeared. I therefore move, Your Honor, that his bail be revoked forthwith, and that a warrant be issued for his arrest. Uh, Your Honor. I have not finished. I beg the indulgence of the court. You may proceed. I appear for the defendant, Your Honor, and I beg the court to accept my assurance that the defendant will appear. It is highly possible that he was delayed this morning, and I therefore... Your Honor, the records show the defendant has now appeared. May so show. Now that all parties are present, we will proceed. Nicholas Prantera, you have been found guilty of willful attempt to evade and defeat the payment of income tax. Before sentence is handed down, I should like to advert to the general background of this case, the climate which surrounded it. It has come to my ears that you have boasted to your associates that a fix, as you phrased it, is in. That this court will merely levy a nominal fine and a suspended sentence and that you will again be free to pursue your murderous career. Nicholas Pantera, it is the order of this court that you pay a fine of $10,000 on each count, a total of $100,000 on the 10 counts, and that you herewith be committed to the custody of the United States Marshal, and then be delivered to the Federal Penitentiary in Alcatraz for a term of not less than 10 years. My name's Barney Roditsky, 20 years gangster squad, police department, city of New York. Yes, they left their prints on the guns, victims, and the times. But there was one area that was print proof. The Department of Justice, United States federal government. Nicholas Prantera, the most powerful mob chief Chicago had ever known. The man who introduced the use of the Tommy gun to settle factional disputes. At the height of his reign, his income, as finally proved by federal prosecutors, exceeded 100 millions a year. Convicted of income tax evasion in a court where the fix was impossible, 10 years, the rock, Alcatraz. Prentera did his time, and except for the magic of his name, the images it would evoke, Nick Prentera became a forgotten man. He was finally released quietly, without fanfare, without publicity, disappeared. He became a legend in gang law, the more so for his mysterious disappearance. But he was never again heard of, never again seen, until many years later on Pell Street, just off the Bowery in New York City. I'll go to Guinan's. Oh, no, I'm bored being called sucker. Let's catch Hall and Morgan. Oh, no. You call Mike at the Abbey and tell him we've all gone to Guinan's. Oh, no, come on, Zelda. Helen Morgan's. No. No. We're going to Guinan's. It's all set now, Clay. It's decided. So look, why don't you go on ahead? I'll catch up with you later. Where are you going? Darling, we're going to Guinan's. Haven't you heard? Where are you going? Oh, I, I'm just going to wander around by myself for a while. Uh, I have some problems to think of. See what I mean, kids? Never marry a brain, especially a restless one. You don't know how lucky you are. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Come on. Thank you, Dan. What was that for? For you. 
For what? For a drink. I didn't brace you. Take care. You're looking for an easy pinch. You're trying to make me on Pan Am? Do I look like the law? You smell like the law. But from the right side. All right, then, will you let me buy you a drink? Just lonesome. I know a dozen antidotes for loneliness. This isn't one of them. Hello, Nick. Everybody you know named Nick. I know two or three, but nobody else is named Prantera. You don't deny you're Nick Prantera. Forgive me for Nick Prantera, so what? You get your kicks buying me drinks in a gin mill. So who's gonna believe you? I walk out of here on a Bowery. Goodbye, Charlie. You know who I am? I make you out for Mason. Clay Mason. Big Mike's mouthpiece. Big Mike Demore. You gonna spring him counselor? Murder rap, huh? How's it look for him? No case. A throwout. No case. Throwout. Meantime, he's a sitting in the tombs. No bail. Stupid. Punks today all stupid. Times have changed since you took your fall, Nick. You got the brains. You make your own kind of times. Times ain't changed. The men. Punks today. Punks. They won't last a week in my time. Where'd you go after you got off the rock? You just disappeared. I'd go the only way I could. But why? And why did you let yourself... Because I ain't no in-between guy. I either gotta be number one or zero. When I come off a rock, I know I can't be no more number one. So I go zero. I'm gonna put you back on your feet. How oh, you know I got any feet left? If you don't have any, I'll graft new ones on for you. You got something in your head, counselor. Yeah. I think something's cooking in your head. To your new feet. find my top boys in Chicago dead. They knock each other off. Other combinations walk in. Nick, I say, lose yourself. Go zero. But Nick Brantera, he always got to be the best. So I got to be the best zero in New York. On a Bowery. Flop houses. Always. Gin mills. <coughs> Salvation Army soup. Paper in her shoes. Best. All these years? All these years. The best zero on a Bowery. With Nick Prantera. Punks today. Chicago, Detroit, Cleveland, New York. All over. I still say my name. With respect? With respect, and it's gonna stay that way. Yes, it'll stay that way. That's why, now, I wanna know what's on your mind. 
I don't know yet. Cigar. That's a good hunk of merchandise. You know how to live. I used to give away a hundred of these every day. You know what you want, Counselor. I think you know. Then let's just leave it this way. I don't yet know that I know. Sure. We leave it that way. But only one thing, Counselor. Yeah? Nick Prantera, he don't lose that respect. Not even for new feet. But I'm sure Clay's all right. Don't worry about it. Thanks for taking me home. Clay, where in the world... Zelda, we, we have a house guest. Mr. Jones. Mrs. Mason. Oh. How do you do, Mr. Jones? Fine. Fine. How do you do, Mrs. Mason? Mr. Jones just got in from the West Coast. Uh, he's, uh, he's helping me on a case. Yeah. A case. Uh, Mr. Jones knows that you'll forgive him, Zelda. Uh, he's been traveling all day. He was just about to retire. Yeah, I'm bushed. Well, of course I understand. You know where the guest room is? Uh, sure, sure. Good night, Mrs. Mason. A witness? Only to the greatest error our time has ever known. All right, Clay. Now you've taken your little pause. Now, who is that derelict, and have you locked up the silver? Zelda, I once took an oath to the bar. Noble precept. But now, I aid in a better murderer to escape justice. Mike DeMori, my employer. The font whence flows all the goodies in our lives. But now, and at great sacrifice, I've decided to send Big Mike DeMori to the electric chair. I'm the brains of the organization, and with Big Mike's death, I shall reap the harvest of the organization's productivity and the power. But Clay, it can't succeed. It's impossible. With Mike DeMori dead, do you think you will be able to control all these men? You're right, darling. I can't control the mob. The organization will splinter. Chaos. Then how? The point, my darling. Our house guest, Mr. Jones. Zelda, is the name Nicholas Prantera anywhere in your ken? Nick Prantera? Yes, my darling, our house guest. Nick Prantera, the legend. He'll control the mob for me. I shall be the power. Mr. Prantera will be my creature. You mustn't worry, darling. Logic is on my side. There's a, there's a Latin proverb. Et versum solem ne loquitor. Never argue with the sun. As he did everything else in life, Clay Mason embarked upon the grand scheme with cool method. First, the rehabilitation of Nick Prantera. Although Prantera would be the hollow man for Mason, he would have to be, in the eyes of the mob, the strong man. And so, the sweating out process. The tailored clothes to restore Prantera's body and psychological competence. Mason kept Prantera under wraps, still telling him nothing, but carefully hidden away for the big day. Mason was careful to continue acting as Big Mike DeMori's attorney, 
placated him with assurances that the district attorney would be forced to throw his hand in. Without the eyewitness he'd been seeking, an eyewitness that disappeared, it would be impossible to bring Damari before a grand jury. Patience was all they needed. Mason now decided the time had come to tell Nick Prantero what his role was to be. Be very simple, Nick. Next week, the DA must move for indictment against Big Mike. But without the eyewitness he's been looking for, he knows it'll be a throwout. That's why he's been stalling, asking for postponements, but he's run out of mileage and he knows it. So, Big Mike, he's gonna be sprung. No, Nick. Big Mike is not going to be sprung. Big Mike is going to the electric chair. I'm listening. The witness. He'll suddenly make a surprise appearance. The DA's got him? No, Nick. The DA has not got him. But I know where that witness is, and I'm the only one who knows where he is. I see. You tip the DA. Big Mike gets sent across. You take over. Right? Almost right, Nick. You take over for me. So that's what was cooking in your mind, huh, Counselor? That's what was cooking in my mind, Nick. Respect, Nick. Respect, Counselor. That's when I decided to come back. I ain't back from Italy a week when I run into this Clay Mason. I run into him at the clubhouse at the track. Well, like it goes, one thing and another. And I know the bum's fixing to throw a hook. And last night, last night he throws me the bait. Match. Yeah, he throws me the bait. How would I like to go back into action? I say I'm kind of retired and taking it easy living in Italy. And I don't want to go to the bother of pulling a new mob together now. And he tells me he has a mob all packaged for me. All wrapped up. Ready for delivery. Your mob, Damori. Go on. You all know what Nick Prantaro was? You know what he hated the most? A rat. That's why I'd come to you. Your mouthpiece. He's gonna spring that witness. Send you across. Take over. Put me in the number one spot. Split down the line, 50-50. He's got the witness. Ah, nice. He told me he was dumped. He told me he was... What are you punks doing? You don't know Puppy ain't dunk? No, you stand there and look at me! Sit down and shut up. Your boys don't know nothing about this. They're on the square with you. It's Mason, and only Mason in this. You know how Nick Brantara would handle this in the old days? <laughs> Mason. Mason would be for me. For me, see, I take that 45, my own hand, and put it right in that rat's ear, and then blast. Nobody take that satisfaction away from Nick Prantera. That's how you got to do it. Yeah, but Poby, the witness, we got to hit Mason before he tips the DA. You ain't using your head, Mike. You gotta... You see, first you take care of the witness. Then you're sprung. Yeah, but no time. We don't know where Mason's got him on ice. I know. We always heard about Nick Pantera. We always talked about the great things he'd done. I never figured to be lucky enough to see him and to talk to him. 
He's bigger than any of the things we talked about. I put this in your hands, Nick. You do this for me. And one more thing. When I'm sprung, I ask you with all the respect to be my number two man. You hear that, boys? Nick Prantera. I ask him to be my number two. Well, Mike, we'll see how it goes, huh? We'll make it go my way, Nick. We'll see. We'll see. First, there's this business about the witness, huh? <laughs> Whatever Mr. Pantera orders, you do, you understand? From now on, Nick Pantera talks for Mike Tamori. Like we've done it in the old days. And Mike, the old ways are the best ways. Tonight, the boys hit the witness, but quiet. Cement, a barrel, a river. Tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, you get another mouthpiece with a writ. No witness by 10, you're sprung. All quiet. 12 o'clock, Mason, he's up in the Bronx in an apartment where he's got the witness on the ice. But when he gets there, no witness. Just Big Mike Damori. <laughs> you heard me before and you hear me again. From now on, you take orders from Nick Pantera. Hello, Rudisky. Huh? Now, speak up a little. I can't hear you. You what? Yeah, tomorrow's squeal. I know. But can't... can't you give it to me a little butter? Where? Yeah, hang on. I'll get a pencil. What, what's it again now? 1001. Yeah. I'll get Poby. You wait here. Yeah, sure. I'll wait here. Go on quick. Go on. Grab him! So now I let Marty tell you how it was. Okay, Marty, go ahead. Speak up. Well, uh... It was just like Mr. Prantario says. Nick. Nick. Call me Nick. Well, uh, it was just like Nick here says. Uh, the law caught poor big Mike and Bugsy just as they's coming out of the joint, huh? No chance. Well, that's all. Except just before he got sprung, big Mike told Bugsy and me, from now on, we take orders from Mr. Uh, from Nick. Are there any objections? Okay. Now, here's the first thing I want all you boys to do. Tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, you'll be at Campbell's funeral parlor. And send flowers. Lots of flowers. But uh, Campbell's, sir. That's Mason's funeral. That's right. But that's the way we used to do it in Chicago. And the old ways are still the best ways. Match. And about the flowers. 
No lilies. Roses. Carnations. Lily of the Valley, maybe.